Welcome back and we're talking about tantric sex and um, sacred sex and we're just having a discussion about full body orgasms with Martina and Trevor. Over to you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear from both of you what your interpretation of full body orgasm is. So the full body orgasm, it's feeling the energy moving through the entire body. So as a woman, allowing yourself to surrender to the energy that's naturally awakened during sex or even an interaction like a hug, mm -hmm. it's possible to experience the full body orgasm. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of being able to let go and allowing the energy to move. Trevor mm -hmm. can talk about it from the men's <laughs> perspective. It's about <laughs> redefining what orgasm is. For men it tends to be kind of a genital contraction and then a bit of a genital sneeze. But it tends to be located only in the genitals mm -hmm. for most men. So what I teach men to do is to actually move that that energy from their genitals up into their heart, up into places that actually have much more feeling and more nerve endings and more consciousness about them to actually feel their fingers tingle, to feel their toes vibrate, to feel an expansion through the crown of their head um, and to actually not just confine or restrict that aspect of orgasm being just as a, an ejaculation. And oftentimes after people have began exploring and opening up in this way, the full body orgasm can happen involuntarily, anywhere, mm. anytime. It can actually move through the body. Mm -hmm. So it can show up as shakes or twitches or, but it's simply the energy moving in the body. Okay. Mm. Now let's just say that, that sitting at home watching the show is a mum and a dad and say their teenage you know, son, daughter, whatever. Mm -hmm. What would you like to be saying to both the mum, the dad and the teenagers? Martina, perhaps you first. About Tantra and sacred right. sex. I guess the really important thing for people to become aware of is the energetic aspect of sacred connection and the divine union with another. So I mentioned earlier about the addiction to the physical sensations. If we start to understand the way our bodies really work, we can connect on a much deeper level. So for example, one of the, the basic lessons in the beginning is recognising that for a woman, the positive polarity is the heart and the negative polarity is the vagina. And then for the man, the positive polarity is the penis and the negative polarity is the heart. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, because men will feel a lot of energy around their penis, there's a tendency to want to go, direct the lovemaking towards the woman's vagina. Mm -hmm. By a man learning about the power of the woman's heart and the breasts, he can actually assist her in opening up in a whole new way. Mm -hmm. So a woman who is stimulated first from the breasts, the rest of her body will naturally open. So that's just one of the examples of how the energetics of Tantra works as well as recognising that in any time I touch someone, their body will be giving my body feedback. So if I touch Trevor now, with awareness, <laughs> <laughs> then his body will, will give my body feedback. Yep. So tuning into all of those subtle sensations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Trevor, mm -hmm. let's say teenage Mm. Teenage boys listen to this and here's what Martina's just saying and going, I just want sex. <laughs> what would you be saying to that lad? That women find men sexy or sexually attractive in many ways. The one that m most women, especially the girls, don't realise is that there's an aspect to men that is spiritually sexy. Mm -hmm. And women find men spiritually sexy that have integrity with not only their own energy, but their own sexual energy. Mm -hmm. So you can have energetic sex with women that you don't know. There's, on a bus, you're sexually attracted to them, and all of a sudden, you've got their clothes torn off, and you're doing, <laughs> having them twisted in all kinds of weird positions. So that's there's not much on. integrity. There's not <laughs> a lot of integrity. There's not a lot of integrity in that. Mm. So actually realising what you do with your sexual energy as a man is very important for attracting the right partner. If you want the right partner, then you need to be very aware of what you're doing. I attracted all the wrong partners for a long time and it was only after I was introduced to Tantra and discovered what I was doing with my energy that I really started to become spiritually sexy to the partners that I wanted 
in my life. The, the women that I chose to be with and to open my heart to were the ones that were attracted to me. Okay, so in some ways, mm. do you wish you had been introduced to Tantra as a oh, teenager? God. It would have... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I found Tantra at 35, mm -hmm. um, 34, 33, or 34, whatever it was. And um, I mean, there are some men that I know that have been introduced to it by their parents who discovered it at 60 and they're at 25 or 30. And um, these couples have a deep honouring for each other's spiritual truth as men and as women. There's a very rich relationship that develops from actually feeling that difference of what it is to be a man, what it is to be a woman, and just honouring that in the way that you conduct your relationships day to day. Mm. Yeah. So Martina, for you, do you wish you were introduced to it as a teenager? And how different would your life have been? Definitely, my life would have been very different. And I'm not one to say that I would want to go back, mm. but, and my path has been what it's been, yeah. but it would have been a lot more peaceful. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, not so, the, the thing for me was life was always the roller coaster yeah. up and down. The dramas. Yeah, totally addicted to the drama. Whereas yeah. now it's much more even yeah. and much more peace inside. So, And one of the things that a lot of people come to a spiritual path looking for being able to transcend sex and transcend the body. But we, it's, it's tricky to transcend anything until we've gone deeply into it. Mm -hmm. So for example, Trevor had to go and do sex, drugs, rock and roll three times before he <laughs> moved past it. And all of us have little things like that, that yeah. you know, we need to live through in our life in order to be who we are. Mm -hmm. And one of the beautiful things that Nityama says is in order to open up spiritually, we need to go into our sexuality first. So think of sexuality as the caterpillar and spirituality as the butterfly. And we can't have a beautiful butterfly without a healthy caterpillar first. Okay, that is an absolutely beautiful <laughs> saying. Mm. And look, I know that yet again, like most of the shows, there's so much we can talk about mm. with this type of topic. Um, perhaps sometime in the future, I know that your, your mentor, your master teacher is going to be out towards the end of the year. Yes. So perhaps we can have another conversation then. And Trevor, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to hear a bloke you know, a real bloke talk about this subject because I think in some ways women gravitate uh, to this a little, whereas mm. for a lot of men yeah. it's like, you know. It is relationship work. Mm. So at some level it is women's work mm. because m men tend to gravitate towards what I have to do in my job, my career, getting things done. Yeah. And women tend to gravitate towards family and relationship and nurturing and raising children. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you both so much for being on the show. Uh, and thank you for, uh, for viewing us today. You can go to the website, conversationswithrobin.com, and there'll be information on there where you can contact both Martina and Trevor to find out more about their work. Take care and see you next time. Oh, and enjoy sacred sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's what makes the world go round. <laughs> thank you.